Hi, I'm Professor Matthew Wright. I'm a composer, turntablist and sound artist. I'm particularly interested in the, the use of DJ technology within uh, the DJ world, but also beyond that. So a kind of area of music making that um, I'm, I call post-DJ, which is sort of looking at the uses of DJ technology like uh, turntables and uh, DJ software, but combining that with all kinds of other art forms um, and different types of music as well. So for instance, I, I use DJ technology with Vietnamese musicians in um, recent performances in Hanoi or I've worked with ensembles in Mexico City. I've also worked with Baroque musicians in Holland. Um, so the, the notion of this DJ technology being a kind of method for remixing material is something that I'm really interested in. There's also lots of other links with other art forms such as um, architecture, thinking about sound installation and the relationship to architecture, but also through gesture, things like choreography and dance and drama. I've been involved with the saxophonist Evan Parker in a, a duo project that we've been working on now since 2008 called TransMap. Um, it started off as a studio composition where I took recordings of Parker's solos and also his uh, record and cassette collection and kind of made a remixable backdrop to his performance. Um, we, we made a studio CD, uh, but that then developed into a whole series of performances um, across Europe um, and one in New York as well. And we're working with all different kinds of um, musicians that are connected to London through the free improvising scene. But that's a project that's been running with quite a number of performances every year um, and that has a long and quite fruitful future. Another project that I've been working on and off uh, on since 2012 is uh, Inside Outside which is working with Vietnamese musicians that are based in uh, Vietnam and Sweden and looking at the gender roles of um, women in the education of Vietnamese music because it's still quite a gender-based system. So. Um, I have a project with the Six Tones Ensemble which is based in Malmö in Sweden which looks at taking Vietnamese music and uh, reframing it, remixing it um, and looking at the gender issues involved with the power relationships you see in Vietnamese folk music and indeed in electronic music. Another uh, project I've worked on recently is with B-Rock, the um, National Baroque Ensemble of the Netherlands. Uh, they're a very interesting ensemble in that they work with uh, Baroque repertoire, and, but they present that alongside brand new work, often sometimes radically contrasting work. Um, so a recent project with them looked at how I could remix the work of Corelli um, and place the ensemble within a kind of sound environment using uh, six surround speakers. And we've performed that a number of times uh, in, in Holland and Belgium, most notably in the Music Centrum Annet I in uh, Amsterdam. Uh, and that was a really interesting chance to develop real-time uh, spatialization techniques for Baroque instruments, which is a relatively unusual um, field. Another uh, project that I've been working on um, for, for a long period of time now is my, my own solo turntable um, performances. And these often involve um, quite radical juxtapositions of different kinds of records. Each is sampled in real time and then spatialized around the audience in surround sound. And I'm really interested not so much uh, about the technology in those projects, but actually uh, is this a, a new kind of performance? Um, so I'm actually really interested in looking at the work as a performer rather than as a composer, even though I am composing my own material in real time. Of course, the thing about that is that I am using records created by somebody else, so I'm kind of um, I'm stealing little bits of their music and uh, recombining it to make a kind of new syntax. I guess it's the equivalent of moss growing on a sculpture, something kind of parasitic that takes a, a surface that's already there and adds a new layer. So I'm really interested in how, as a performer, I might kind of engage with that process.